And it goes a little yeah. something like Good, you guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new hi my name is Muichi hit that subscribe button and welcome aboard okay so let's get into this video in this video today I will be giving you guys 10 study tips that will change your lives boom I said it yeah these tips will absolutely change your life especially if you are a first year student this can also work if you're in high school and you want to find a good mechanism in which you're going to be studying so let's get into this number one is the most important tip and that is praying before you study now this is self-explanatory because you need God in everything that you do so if you want to understand and remember each and everything that you're studying pray first before you study so tip number two is that you must know your W H a w i call it the wow yeah i invented this okay i invented this the wow <laughs> so the w stands for the what w stands for what h stands for how a stands for and and the other w stands for when so your what is knowing what you'll be studying what are you studying are you studying mathematics are you studying physics are you studying biology at that specific time and even if you know these subjects that you're studying, what topics are you studying? So that is the what. You must know what you are studying before you actually study it, yeah? Then the H is the how. How are you studying this? You know, some people have different ways in which they study. Other people memorize. Other people take down notes. And then they um, ask themselves questions. Other people just read and then gets in the head other people have to read a thousand times to get the concept so you must know how you're studying yeah and then your w is your when when are you studying are you studying in the morning at night are you studying after class before class are you studying after lunch before lunch you know okay just know your when and then you will be organized okay tip number three is do not sleep without studying it's a sin to sleep without studying okay it's a sin yeah don't sleep without studying study something even if you feel tired on that particular day do something go on YouTube watch a tutorial do something don't sleep don't pile work up do something before you study study something yeah tip number three don't waste your time writing pretty notes to my colored pens you know to my hearts to my flowers like don't decorate your notes like why are you decorating your notes you're wasting your time you're wasting ink you're wasting money buying those pens just write notes that you can read as long as you can read those notes that's enough you don't need to decorate your notes no it's not necessary trust me i'm talking from experience when i first came here in first semester I used to decorate my notes and it was a waste of time because why why are you decorating your notes it's not necessary okay always have your own notes written down it really helps yeah always write something down don't just depend on your lecture notes you know write something down for me what I used to do is that when I'm studying I will write down notes and then when revising i will read my notes and not the notes that they gave me so i will be using the notes they gave me to write my own kind of summarized notes and use those notes to revise you get so yeah write something down don't go for class and just sit there on your phone on facebook yada yada write something down even the tiniest tiniest of words that you would write down would actually help you so always write something down the next tip is do not i repeat do not pull off an all-nighter before an exam hmm. i can testify to this because the last time i tried to pull off an all-nighter yeah the last time i tried to stay up all night studying i woke up five minutes before the exam was to start and i arrived late i woke up at eight i think it was 8 55 <laughs> 
and I had to shower. I had to <laughs> get ready for an exam that was starting at nine hours. I was the flash on that day because yo, and on top of that, I arrived two minutes late um, for my exam. So I had to stay outside for 30 minutes before going inside. So other people were writing the exams for two hours, but I was writing my exam for one hour, 30 minutes. And that was a mathematics exam. And trust me, I regret that till this day. Don't stay up all night before an exam. You will wake up late. You will go in the exam. You'll be confused. You'll be panicking. Don't, guys. Don't. This is important. Don't pull up an all-nighter. Please, don't. Okay? The next tip is do not overstudy. It's not necessary. Don't overstudy. Okay, why are you overstudying? You can't be i know some people are just naturally nerds like you study all the time but nah don't do that okay not even the smartest man on this earth studied all the time do something go eat some shawamas or eat shima i don't know bro but don't overstudy you can't study the whole day unless maybe if you're like i don't know but you can study the whole day but have some breaks in between don't overstudy like from morning to 16 you're just studying no breaks no nothing your brain will malfunction <laughs> so do not overstudy yeah the next tip is do not let your work pile up don't do that if possible start studying from day one study whatever you're given study every day whatever you, whatever you learn study it don't wait for your book full to start studying because you won't finish and trust me if you don't finish studying you won't know what to write in an exam and if you don't know what to write in an exam you will fail so always study don't let your work pile up don't do that yeah the next one is have some fun let your brain rejuvenate okay don't like have some fun Go out with your friends, eat some good food. I'm not saying go out and party, but if you like doing that, if that's your thing, do that. Let your brain, you know, rejuvenate. For me, what I would do is maybe go eat something nice or, you know, take a walk or you know, just do something fun. Even with your friends, play video games. I don't know. Just let your brain restart don't overwork your brain okay don't do that yeah the ninth one is leave no stone unturned okay leave no stone unturned study everything everything when i say study everything i mean study every single thing don't tell yourself that you know this trust me it's always there you know this that you always get wrong okay don't tell yourself that i know this i shouldn't study this study everything okay be 100 percent ready study each and everything don't leave anything out leave no stone unturned from topic one to topic nine make sure you study everything even if you do not completely know each and everything in detail but at least touch each and every topic because it's always the topics that you leave out that always come and they don't miss so <laughs> study everything so you know um during the mids last semester i didn't study everything that was like my chemistry um mid exam and i didn't study everything i was just studying through my topics i'm even telling myself no this one will come this one won't come I did the dada <laughs> and trust me whatever i didn't study came and it came with force so please study everything so yeah the last tip is pray after you study pray after you study that everything that you studied stays in your brains okay call upon god to help you remember everything and you will remember everything so yeah that's all i have for you guys for today those were 10 tips that will change your life so if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on your post notification bells so that you're notified each time I post a new video. With that being said, peace.